Okay, so it's 1150. We're going to start um, science today. Um, yesterday, we had our last lesson in the unit, the electricity and magnetism unit. Um, we, we did not take a unit assessment, but we did, uh, we did review the material. And today is going to be our first lesson in our new unit. Um, this unit is called um, wave energy, and we're going to learn all about waves, types of waves, and how they transmit energy. So I'm going to share my screen to the PowerPoint, and we're going to um, get started on a bit of an introduction here. Okay. So introduction to waves. What we are going to go over is uh, we're going to answer what waves are, what are the two main categories of waves, what waves transfer, and what causes waves. So waves are actually everywhere. Waves are waves are like really really important um, in math and science. Um, whether you recognize it or not, we, we encounter waves as a phenomenon that um, on a daily basis. Um, the motion of a pendulum, now a pendulum is anything that swings. So if you, have, um, if you have keys on a lanyard that is swinging back and forth, if you are holding, um, if you're holding a pen and letting the pen swing in your hand, that's a pendulum. Um, on a swing, right in a playground. If you if you uh, if you swing back and forth on a playground, um, moving up and down on a seesaw, that that rhythmic motion, that um, this periodic rhythmic motion is central to waves. Caitlin, where are you? So now we got to ask ourselves, what is a wave? And to start off um, learning about what a wave is. We're gonna we're gonna read a text which is in our packets. So, in order to do that, what I'm gonna do for all of you, give me a hand. Show me a hand if you need me to uh, post the packet on the computer. I think I'm just gonna do that anyway. Um, if you already have it in your packet, go ahead and get started reading Introduction to Waves. It's the very first text in your packet, and I'm going to share that now. Jessica, what's your question? I was going to ask Mr. Um, Amador if I could read the first paragraph. If you could what? You want to you wanted to read? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's fine. How about you read the first paragraph, and then we'll have someone else read the second paragraph. OK. Maybe Vicky, she has her hand up. Vicky can go second paragraph. Jalen, please take a seat. Okay, sharing, sharing, sharing. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you see the text on your screen. Okay, great. Um, go ahead, Jessica, start with the first paragraph. I'm gonna go to someone else. Jessica, we'll come back to you. Let, um, unless you need me to unmute you and you can't unmute yourself. Let's go, let's find Jessica again. Where is Jessica? Tanzel has his hand raised. Okay. Jessica, can you see the text? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, read the first paragraph. Introduction to waves. A wave can be described as a disturbance that travels through a medium from one location to another location. The material through a, which a wave travels is called a medium. In other words, the medium is just a, sense, a substance that carries the wave from place to place. A wave transfers energy from place to place. In science, energy is defined as the ability to do work. Thank you. 
Uh, Vicki is going to read the next paragraph. Vicky, you're unmuted. So. To understand waves, think about swimming raft. Think about the swimming raft. A wave that disturbs the surface of water also will disturb the raft. The wave's energy lifts the heavy raft as a wave passes under it. But the disturbance caused by the wave is temporary. After the wave passes, the water is calm again and raft stops bubbling. I mean, bubbling. Thank you, Vicky. And let's go to Tanzel. Tanzel had a hand up. Go ahead, Tanzel. Uh, consider a slinky wave as another example of a wave. When the slinky is stretched from end to end and is held at rest, it assumes a natural position known as the equilibrium or rest position. The coils of the slinky naturally assume this position, spaced equally far apart. To introduce a wave into the slinky, the first coil is moved from the first position. It can move, it can be moved up or down or forwards and backwards. This creates a disturbance in the slinky. We can then observe this disturbance moving from through the slinky from one end to the other. Thank you, Tanzel. Give me a thumbs up if we are able to see the PowerPoint now. Did we switch to the PowerPoint? No, I can't see that yet. No, you don't see the part. You still see. Okay. So I have to change to new share, change to the PowerPoint. Okay. How about now? Okay. So we just, um, what was the scientific definition of a wave? Actually, it will be useful to go back to this for those who, who still need to look along. What was the scientific definition of a wave? What is a wave? Chanel. A wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium from one location to another location. Yeah, it is. Um, and it's, it's really, it's a transfer of energy. It's a disturbance and it's a transfer of energy. So in our PowerPoint here, um, one way of describing a wave is a repeating and periodic disturbance that travels through a medium from one location to another. Waves transfer energy and they have the ability um, they transfer energy from one place to another. What does uh, what does periodic mean? Wait, Daniel, come back in three minutes. What does periodic mean? What are we talking about? A repeating and periodic disturbance. Janelle, go ahead. Periodic, kind of like referring to like a short period of time, so temporary. Okay, so we think periodic could mean temporary. Any other ideas for periodic? Periodic. Um, periodic means that uh, that periodic means to repeat um, over a certain time frame. So periodic. You might want to write this down. Periodic means repeating. over a specific time frame. Over a certain time frame. So a clock ticking, the ticking of the clock is periodic because every second the, the, the second hand moves. It's periodic and after one whole minute, it comes back to where it started. Um, uh, those slinky waves, waves that are passing by, um, waves will pass in a very specific amount of time. And that repeated motion of the waves, I'm coming to you, Jason, that repeated motion of the waves we call periodic. 
Go ahead, Jason. Uh, so you know the periodic the periodic table. Does that have something to do with it? A little bit. Yeah, it has to do with the meaning of the word periodic. Yeah, periodic. It doesn't have to do with waves, but it does have to do with the word periodic, because periodic means repeating over and over again. And so the periodic table of elements. There were certain patterns that we saw that kept repeating over and over again as we looked through the periodic table. Great connection. So let's take a look at an example here in the PowerPoint. We have a raft and water. In the first one, there are no waves at all. There's just the raft sitting on the still water. Then a wave is introduced in the water, and you can see that this is this is the beginning of the wave right here. And the motion of the wave is in this direction. So the wave passes underneath the raft, and it causes the raft to lift up. The energy of the wave lifts the raft up. The wave is still moving. It continues to pass. And so after it passes by the raft, the raft goes back down. It lowers down again. That's what it says here, raft bobs down. So there's this motion, this up and down motion. Who's ever been in a pool or in the ocean or even just seen something in the water bobbing up and down? Show me on your hands if you've ever seen, yeah, seen something bobbing up and down in the water. Great. Mm -hmm. This is a very common experience that, we, that we've seen. And after the wave passes, then the raft will stop bobbing and the disturbance that's caused is only temporary. So in this case, the wave is the, is the energy, the moving energy. The wave is the moving energy. What is the medium? We talked, we read in that last, in that first reading, about a medium. First, someone define medium, and then someone tell me what the medium for the wave is in this in this case. So the first hand, I want a definition of a of medium in this. So you can go ahead and look back into the into the text if you have it in front of you. I'm also going to switch up to this slide here, this reminder here. So take a look at this sentence here. Um, a periodic disturbance that travels through a medium. And the medium is the material that carries the wave. So that is a very important definition. Let's all write that down on our papers. That the medium, medium means the material that carries the wave. So what is the material that is carrying the wave in this, um, in this example, Carlo? Um. What, what do you think? No wrong answers. We're here to learn. I think. You are lagging. Okay. I couldn't hear you. What is the medium, which means the material that the wave is traveling through? So the, the wave light. is the movement of energy, but that energy is moving through something. What is the thing that the energy is moving through? The raft? Close. No, not exactly. No, the raft moves up and down because um, I guess in a sense it does, it does become a part of the wave for, for a moment. But in this case, the medium of the wave is the water. So the water is the material that the wave is traveling through. Okay. Let's look at another example here. Here's an example of a slinky. So if we have a stretched out slinky, 
the coils are spaced equally apart. And we want to introduce a wave to this slinky. What are some of the ways, if you've ever played with a slinky or even just thinking about it? Jalen, we're thinking about a slinky. What are some ways that you could move a slinky to maybe try to make a wave? Like up and down. Okay, you can or move it up and down. Side. Or side to side. So first, if we let's say we move the coil, we're holding the slinky, like, um, and we're, we're shaking one side up and down. So no, number three here on your PowerPoint shows um, the way that the wave would move through the slinky. So if you were to, if you move this slinky, if you shook it up and down in that first step, you would create a wave and that wave is basically this section that I just outlined. So I'm going to outline the wave in each part. And this wave we can see is traveling forward. The whole, the energy is traveling to the right. What is the medium in this case? Morris, what is the medium? The medium in this case, I think, would be um, like, wouldn't it be like a slinky? Yes, it is. The medium is the slinky itself. It's the slinky. Okay, so let's move on from this example to the next reading that we have um, on the very next page, which is waves transfer energy. So we're going to learn about how waves transmit or transfer energy. Go ahead and turn to the um, turn to the next. reading and I'll pull that up on the page so that um, anyone that needs to read it can can see it along. So the next thing we're doing is waves transferring energy. Hmm. This one's sitting the cat. Um, I'm gonna unmute the first <clears throat> The first text that I have, the next text that I have is actually says um, waves transfer energy, or do you have mechanical versus electromagnetic waves first? I think I got my, I think I got my order of my pages wrong here. So let's follow along in this right here. Mechanical versus electromagnetic waves. Jason, can you read the very first paragraph for mechanical versus electromagnetic waves? Uh, okay. One way to categorize to categorize waves is on the basis. Oh wow. The basis of their ability or inability to, to transmit energy through a uh, vacuum, empty space. Categorizing waves on this basic, on this basis leads to, a, to, leads to two notable categories, mechanical and electromagnetic waves. Thank you. Uh, Jalen, next one. A mechanical wave is a wave. Middle paragraph. Go ahead. Great. A mechanical wave 
is a wave that is not capable of transmitting its energy through a vacuum. Mechanical waves require a medium in order to transport their energy from one location to another. A sound wave is an, is an example of mechanical uh, of me a sound wave is an example of a mechanical wave. Sound that's waves just are, a, a yeah, that's just a of a mechanical wave. Sound waves are incapable of traveling through a vacuum. Stinky waves, water waves, sodium waves, and jump rope waves are other examples of mechanical waves. Waves each require some medium in order to exist. A slinky wave requires the coils of the slinky. A water wave requires water. A stadium wave requires fans in a stadium. And a jump rope wave requires a jump rope. Thank you, Jalen. Daniel, the last paragraph, please. Okay. An electromagnetic wave is a wave capable of transmitting its energy through a vacuum, electro or empty space. Electromagnetic waves are produced by the vibration of charged particles. Electromagnetic waves that are produced on the sun subsequently travel to Earth through the vacuum of outer space. Were it not for the ability of electromagnetic waves to travel through a vacuum, there would be undoubtedly no life on Earth. All light waves are examples of electromagnetic waves. Okay, great. So um, what we're going to do now is let's go ahead and Are categorize. Let's go ahead and categorize, um, take notes on what we just read about the two types of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. And I'm gonna, as you're doing that, we're each doing that individually. I'm switching over to the PowerPoint so that we can see it there. So we have two types of waves, mechanical waves and electromagnetic waves. So Lonnie, give us one thing that we could put into either one of these categories. What's one thing we know? Two, because they both look like, they look like the same thing, but for each box. What's that? Two. Can I say two? Sure, yeah. Um, for mechanical, I put it's a wave that is not capable of transmitting its energy through a vacuum. And for electromagnetic, I put that the wave is capable of transmitting its energy through a vacuum. Absolutely, that's correct. Jessica, anything else to add? We could also say that, um, we could also say that mechanical waves require a medium. Okay, mechanical waves require a medium. Mm -hmm, that's right. And what's one thing, Bailey, that's similar that they both have in common? Okay, so one thing that they both have similar is that is that hmm, let me see. That they both can Think back to the definition of what a wave does. They're both waves, so they both do something. Hmm. They both can. They they both. They both travel through a medium. A medium. Uh, I don't know. Okay. okay. They both transmit something. What do they both transmit? Bailey, what do they both transmit? I don't know. I do not know. Okay. They both transmit energy. In a wave, it's the energy that moves. This is a this is a key point of waves, understanding waves. The energy of the wave is what's moving. 
the actual physical material, whether it be water, air, um, you know, the, the slinky itself, that is not moving with the wave. It may move up and move down, but then it comes back to its position. It's not moved away to another location. However, the energy does transfer from one place to another as the wave travels. And we're gonna read more about that. So and for an example with mechanical waves, because they need a medium, they can and they cannot they cannot be transmitted in a vacuum. There's no sound in, in outer space. Because there's no medium. So no, wipe your camera. There's no medium for the sound to um, for the sound to transmit through. Electromagnetic waves are special. So basically an electromagnetic wave is light. Light is an electromagnetic wave. Take a look over here and stop. Let's look at some other examples of these um, other examples of the nope, not that. We don't want to do that. We don't want that. We don't want any of this stuff. We want this. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you're able to see um, an, a moving illustration of a wave. Okay, so take a look at the first, um, the first animation here. Has anyone ever been to like a baseball game or a football game or anything like that? And you do, you do the wave and everybody stands up and it like travels like all the way around the stadium. Do the people actually get up and run around the stadium and move out of their seats? No, they don't. They just move up and down. They, and then they move up and they move down. So there is some motion, but they return to their position. Yeah, exactly, Daniel, just like that. So the energy you can see is traveling. It is moving, but the people do not move. I'm gonna keep repeating that over and over and over again. The energy moves from one place to another the medium does not move Jalen, get in the view of the camera. from one place to another it can go up and it can it can move forward and it can move back let's look at this second example here which is sound waves sound waves in air behave in much the same way as the wave pulse passes through the particles in the air oscillate back and forth take a look at this this um animation what do we what do you think that this animation kaylee kaylin what do you think this animation is showing us? What do you think the, the particles represent? The, um, the, the dots, I mean. What do you think they represent? Um, I think... It's supposed to be... We're talking about sound waves here. Um, there's supposed to be like some waves that say like pass by and stuff. We can definitely see the wave passing by. Is everyone able to... Is everyone able to see... I'm going to go to Morris. Is everyone able to see the actual motion, like that rippling, though? Yes. Can see okay. I, I can. Yeah. More, so, tell us more I, about the actual individual dots. I think the actual individual dots are air particles because you know, like when, like you're hearing a when you're hearing a sound, it travels through the air. So I think like the sound waves, like the sound waves, are using the air as a medium. Yes, exactly. Thank you for using that um, that that vocab word. Um, and that science word, which is medium. So the air particles are the medium. Take a close look. Actually, there's going to be another example where we'll take a closer look at that. Here's another example of a wave. Um, that's like if you imagine you took a rope and you kind of like do like a like a whip with it, and you might see the that the wave travels along the rope for for a little bit. The rope moves up and it moves down. But the actual like the actual piece of material from the rope doesn't move. Let me grab this cord right here. Right? If I if I shake this up and down, this piece of plastic in the middle isn't moving to the left. 
it's not going off of your screen. It's just moving up and down. So the medium is not traveling. The energy is traveling. Final example here that really, really um, sends this home. On the bottom, on the bottom animation here, it actually shows us the individual particles highlighted in red, and then it shows the arrow for the waves traveling. Can we all see that clearly on our screens? So take a few moments to look at this animation. So the wave, and it might be called a wave front, the wave is the the kind of like thicker, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to draw it. No, no. It's the um it's the thicker uh part. And you you can see actually multiple waves that are lined up and they're all moving um forwards. But the individual particles don't go anywhere. They just move back and forth a little bit, but they're not shifting off of your screen. The energy of the waves move off the screen. Any questions about weight about that as I shift screens here? If you have a question, just unmute yourself and go ahead and ask it. So moving on to our next, moving on to our next text here, our, our next part in our Scala packet. Understanding waves is energy. We just, I just kind of discussed this at length. So I want you to just take a minute, take about one minute and write down two observations for each of the animations that you saw. So we're all writing down two observations for each animation that we just looked at on the computer. I see Jessica writing and Jason is writing. So is Leilani. Thank you, Bailey. Okay, we're gonna move. We're gonna move along to the next section, um, where we're gonna read about how waves transfer energy. I want you to take um, take three minutes to read how waves transfer energy, and then I want you to answer the prompt. Then we'll share out one or two responses to the everybody writes prompt. Actually skip the prompt. The prompt I don't think is, um, uh, we don't need to do that prompt right now. So I'm gonna create a, just a new prompt right now that I want you to write about. I want you to, everybody's going to write. What is transmitted by a wave? Dylan, sit up, Leilani. Stop to talking. What does not get transmitted? Yes, you can get your charger.
Is Daniel in the bathroom or something? Daniel went to get his phone charger. Oh, okay. What's the charger that he needed? Okay, we're gonna take a, a, um, in about another 20 seconds, um, we're gonna share out one answer. If you would like to share, please uh, raise your hand. Change it, fix it, Carlo. That's unacceptable. You, you've been told about this before. Uh, Bailey, you can, if you're able to hold it, no, you can go, you can go now. Okay, so let's get, um, Vicky, will you be able to share for us? Vicky, can you hear me? Danzel, can you share your response to the prompt, please? If you can hear me, give me a thumbs up. I can hear you. Okay, go ahead, Danzel. So, uh, something that gets transmitted to a wave, I mean, energy, I think energy is transmitted through a wave, like, you know, like light energy, um, mechanical energy, if you're using mechanical waves, um, yeah, energy like that, right? <clears throat> and that's just, like, I, I mean, I think, like, um, like, actual, like, you know, like, molecules and stuff, right, they're not transmitted, right, because... It was like in the text, it says energy is transported through the medium, yet the water molecules are not transported, meaning that the molecules themselves stay in the same spot. It's just the energy from those molecules are, is being transported through the wave. Thank you, Tanzel. That's right. That's, we're going to, let's, if there's one thing that I want us to remember from today's lesson, it's this point. Waves transmit energy not actual matter. The medium is important. The waves travel through the medium, but the medium itself does not move from one place to another. It just goes maybe back and forth, or it might move up and down, but it returns to its position. Um, what I'd like you to do for um, homework today, is there a few things that um, that we did not get to read? So let's take a look at those things here. Um, how waves transfer energy. Okay. I want you to read how waves transfer energy. And then I want you to do these two independent practice problems. So independent practice problem one, A, B, C, and D, and two. So finish reading this text, how waves transfer energy, and then do questions one and two in the independent practice. Yes, Vicki. Uh, go ahead, Vicki. Um, so can you can you do like that Google like that Google thing that the uh, the Miss Maria and Mr. Emily are do, Mr. Penny are doing? So because I don't have the packet, so can you like put like send us the, the homework on like to our Gmails? And yeah, then, I can I can send you the packet. Yep, I can send you the packets in the Gmail. Okay. 
Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Carlo, uh, Ms. Ramon, Carlo needs to um, use the restroom. I'm going to let him go. Go ahead, Carlo. All right. So science is now over. Um, Ms. Ramon, I think 